In today's video, I will be continuing my realistic offseason rebuild series going in order of the real life draft picks in the first round. The Cleveland Browns don't have a first round pick, but technically they're supposed to have the 23rd pick in the draft, so today we're going to be rebuilding them. They have decided to hire Ken Dorsey as their offensive coordinator coming over from the Buffalo Bills. They're running a vertical power run, so for that reason we switched to the vertical power run scheme fit and the Buffalo Bills playbook. We're setting at 70% scheme fit on that and we're still running with the same default Cleveland Browns playbook on defense which is a 4-3 scheme and we're setting at 96% scheme fit on that. The latest update in Madden franchise has it at Super Bowl week without the game actually being played so I did have to force the Chiefs to win the game. All other teams and scores I see are the actual scores so the draft picks are going to be realistic like in real life. This rebuild is going to be starting as soon as the Super Bowl ends. I am using the realistic draft class so you can see we have Caleb Williams, Jaden and Daniels, Marvin Harrison Jr., Drake May, and all other players coming out of college in this year's draft in real life. I have gone through and manually updated the Browns roster to reflect what they've done in real life. So we do have Jameis Winston, Tyler Huntley as the backup quarterback. They also traded for Jerry Judy from the Broncos. I think that's pretty much everything they've done on offense. Well, I guess they did get Foreman at running back too. And on defensive side, they signed Devin Bush, Jordan Hicks, Maurice Hurst, Quentin Jefferson, so we have the roster updated. It looks like the main thing we're going to, need to focus on in the draft is probably defensive tackle, maybe linebacker. The roster is actually pretty loaded all around. It's pretty much going to depend on if Deshaun Watson can live up to his potential and hype that he's supposed to have with this big contract that he has. We're here in the second round of the draft. We have pick 23 since we did not have a first round pick. I'm going to draft this defensive tackle, Rook Ororo from Clemson. He's 6'4", 294 pounds. He's a run, stop, and scheme fit. He's 22 years old. He looks like a great athlete. He has a great acceleration, great agility, elite change of direction, elite jump, and elite speed with good strength. He's got hit and dead with 87 strength and 78 speed. Third round, I'm going to draft another defensive tackle here. It's going to be Mason Smith from LSU. He is 6'5", 306 pounds. He's a run, stop, and scheme fit. 21 years old, he has solid acceleration, great agility, great change of direction, great jumping, good speed, and decent strength. He's got hidden dev, nice, 83 strength. The next pick that we have is in the fifth round. I'm going to draft middle linebacker Tommy Eichenberg from Ohio State. He is 6'2", 233 pounds. He's a run stopper. He's 23 years old, he has decent acceleration, marginal agility, great change of direction, elite jumping with decent speed and good strength. He's got normal dev with 82 speed, 76 strength. I simulated the last two picks that we had. So in the second round, I took defensive tackle Rook Ororo from Clemson. He is a 71 overall. He does have hidden dev. I'm probably just going to go ahead and start him right away. He has 87 strength, 75 block shutting, 72 power moves, 70 finesse moves, 78 tackle with 78 speed. The other two guys I drafted are below 70, so they're just going to be a backups. And the computer drafted Malik Washington, wide receiver from Virginia in the sixth round. He's actually a 71 overall, but he's going to be a, just a backup for us also. This is going to be our starting lineup for the season. At quarterback, we got Deshaun Watson. He's a 74 with star dev. Nick Chubb is a 94 with X Factor. And then we got Ford and Foreman backing him up. Amari Cooper is a number one receiver. He's a 87 with superstar. Elijah Moore on the slot, 78 with normal dev. Jerry Judy coming over from the Broncos, a number two receiver. He's an 81 with star. David Njoku at tight ends at 89 with Superstar. Conklin at right tackles at 80 with Star. Teller at right guards at 86 with Superstar. Pochic at center is a 77 with Normal. Batonio left guard is 89 with Star. Jedrick Wells Jr. at left tackles at 76 with Star. Offense is looking pretty good. It's pretty much just going to matter and depend on what Deshaun Watson does. Defensively, I'm starting Rook Ororo at defensive tackle. He's a 71 with hidden dev. Dalvin Tomlinson at defensive tackle, 75 with normal. Miles Garrett, the best player on the team, 98 with X Factor. Zadarius Smith, other defensive end, he's an 81 with star. We got Denzel Ward, cornerback one, he's a 90 with star. Emerson Jr. is going to be in the slot, he's an 80 with superstar. Greg Newsom at cornerback two, is an 85 with star. Grant Delpit at strong safety, he's an 82 with star. 
Awusu as our outside linebacker is 85 with star. Devin Bush at middle linebacker, 77 with star. Jordan Hicks going to be our other outside linebacker, 75 with normal. And then Juan Thornhill at free safety is a 78 with star. For the season goal, I'm setting it to make the playoffs. The Cleveland Browns actually have a really good defense in real life. I'm not sure how their playbook does in simulation. And we're running the Buffalo Bills offensive playbook. That's one of the better playbooks in Madden simulation. See if Deshaun Watson can handle it or not. Here at the midseason point, we were off to a terrible start. We lost our first six games in a row, and then we just got our first win against the Dolphins, 29 to 28. Did get a weekly award, so let's check that out real quick. It's going to be Deshaun Watson at quarterback, 300 yards passing, three passing touchdowns. The Bengals are leading the division along with the Steelers. They're both four and three, and the Ravens are three and four. And like I said, we're one and six. Let's check out the season stats and see what's going on here halfway through the season. Deshaun Watson not having a great season, 1,600 yards passing, 13 touchdowns with 13 interceptions. That is terrible. 63% completion with the 81 rating. That's really low. Russian Nick Chubb's doing good, 500 yards, 4.8 per carry with five touchdowns. Receiving Amari Cooper's got 500 yards with three touchdowns. Defensively, Owusu's leading the team in tackles with 52. Who's got the most sacks? Miles Garrett only has three and a half. So Darius Smith has three. A row, row, row has one. Interceptions, Grant Delpa has three. Bush has two. And then a couple guys got one. Here at week 10, and we are one and eight, still having a terrible season. And we have a team turmoil thing popping up here. It says discuss a locker room divide with the front office. They probably want to go ahead and bench Deshaun Watson or something. I don't know. I've never seen what this stuff is. It says, coach, there are reports of a divide in the locker room between the offense and the defense, which has been struggling. How are we handling it? Guarantee a win. Now, I'm definitely not going to do that. Let's go with show improvement. I don't see us winning a game. Allow two or fewer offensive touchdowns to the Ravens. That's going to be hard. Well, we lost to the Ravens 34-31, to 31, so there's no way that we gave up two or fewer touchdowns on the offense unless we just kick 10 field goals and somehow manage to score one point on top of that. Well, let's see what the response is here to this team turmoil. Only thing I'm going to say is that adversity builds character. We're going through a little bit right now, but let's not let it become more than it is. Guys, I know we have a lot of strong personalities in here, but we have to figure this out. We all need to be better or it's going to get it, bring us all down. Failure to win has tempers flaring and a negative impact on the entire locker room. Negative seven morale for all players. Good Lord, this is going to be bad. Here at week 14, we just got our second win of the season. We are 2-11, and 11, definitely not making the playoffs. We just beat the Steelers 35-17, to 17, and we got a weekly award here, so let's show the wins when we got a chance to show them. Miles Garrett, six tackles and four sacks in one game. Dude is a beast for real. Here at week 15, I just simulated week 14, which was the bye week, and we have a breakout quarterback opportunity here. It has to be for Deshaun Watson. Coach, Deshaun Watson is coming off a stellar game. Is he in the process of taking the next step? I don't think so, buddy. Like he's playing well, and I think it speaks to that, obviously. What? What are you? Are you watching the same games? We'd love to get that kind of performance out of him every week, and if we can, we're going to win a lot of games. Yeah, too late for that, buddy. Wish upon a star, throw one or fewer interceptions and have 350 scrimmage yards or four total touchdowns with quarterback Deshaun Watson to increase his depth rate to superstar. Somehow we ended up beating the Giants 31 to 28 and let's see what happened with this breakout opportunity for Deshaun Watson. Did he end up getting it? Coach, any thoughts on the play that you got out of Deshaun Watson today? Not too much. He made it known that he had hoped to have a better day, but at the end of the day, winning is what we aim to do each week and we got the job done. No dev upgrade. Did not meet the goals required. <laughs> Go figure. End of the regular season, we finished 3-14, and 14, last in the division. The Bengals went 10-7, and 7, won the division. The Ravens went 9-8, and 8, the Steelers went 6-11. and 11. See what happened with these season stats. We have the number 5 ranked offense, 5th in passing yards for Deshaun Watson, and 5th in passing touchdowns. 32nd ranked defense, Wow. Well, Deshaun Watson, 4,100 yards passing with 35 touchdowns. That's pretty good, but 26 interceptions and a 62% completion. That's terrible. 88 rating. Pretty low. Russian Nick Chubbs had a great season. 1,300 yards, 4.8 per carry with 10 touchdowns. Receiving Amari Cooper, 92 catches, 1,100 yards, 7 touchdowns. Elijah Moore, 3 yards short of 1,000 with 12 touchdowns. Nice. Jerry Judy almost had 1,000 yards as well with five touchdowns, and David Njoku at tight end, 56 catches, 560 yards, five touchdowns. Defensively, Devin Bush led the team in tackles with 138. Owusu had 125, second most on the team. 
Dalvin Tomlinson, 21 tackles for loss. Miles Garrett had 16 sacks. Miles Garrett had the most with eight and a half. Aurora Rowe had four. The rookie defensive tackle had the second most on the team. Zadarius so Smith only had three and a half. Tomlinson and Bush both had one. Interceptions, Grant Delpa had the most with five. That's a pretty good season from him. Plus, he had 106 tackles. Denzel Ward, three interceptions. Devin Bush had two. Greg Newsom had two. And then Owusu had one. The Miami Dolphins beat the Dallas Cowboys in the Super Bowl 27 to 21. Cornerback Jalen Ramsey won Super Bowl MVP. Dak Prescott won MVP of the regular season with the Cowboys. Mike McCarthy won Coach of the Year with the Cowboys. Rasheed Rice won Offensive Player of the Year with the Chiefs. Aaron Donald won Defensive Player of the Year with the Rams. Caleb Williams won Offensive Rookie of the Year with the Commanders. And Jared Verse won Defensive Rookie of the Year with the Cardinals. Just want to say, I know that Aaron Donald retired in real life, so there's no way that he could win the Defensive Player of the Year in this coming up season. But I had to go through and manually update the roster, so all the other free agents on all the other teams are not correct at the moment. In order for me to do it like this, I have to do it like this to be able to get the draft to be in the right order and to be able to use the realistic draft class. One quick note right here, if you look right in the middle, it says Browns and below that available salary cap negative 68 and a half million. Browns are in like really bad uh, cap space going on here. They had like negative 33 million when I first started doing this rebuild and had to go through and mess with a bunch of contracts to, I mean, how to restructure like everybody's available contracts and change a couple just to be able to make the moves that I needed to. This is what the final team is looking like. Deshaun Watson's down to normal dev. He did have star. He had the potential to jump up to superstar, but he couldn't accomplish it. He's a 75 overall. Nick Chubb went down to superstar. He was an X Factor. He's a 91. Mari Cooper is an 86 with superstar. Elijah Moore is a 78 with normal. Jerry Judy is an 81 with star. And Joku was a superstar. He's down to star 87 overall. Conklin's a 79 with star. Teller is an 86 with superstar. Poachers is a 77 with normal. Batonio is an 87 with star. And Jedrick Wills Jr. is a 75 with star. Miles Garrett on defense is a 97 with X Factor. Ruka Roro is already the best defensive tackle on the team. He's a 76 with star. Tomlinson's down to a 71 with normal. Sedaria so Smith dropped down to normal dev. He did have star. He's a 76. Denzel Ward went up to Superstar, he's 89. Emerson, Superstar with 80, and Newsom's 84 with Star. Grant Delpit, he had a five interception season, but he still only has Star Dev, 81 overall. Owusu is 84 with Star. Devin Bush did have Star, he dropped down to normal Dev, he's a 74. And I don't see the other linebacker, I forgot what his name was, that was over here. I guess he retired or something. Juan Thornhill at free safety is a 75 with Star. Overall, it was a terrible rebuild, probably one of the worst ones I've done in this entire series, and it was basically all on Deshaun Watson. I mean, we had a number five ranked offense, so you could say, oh, it wasn't his fault, but he threw a crap load of interceptions, and I know defensively it said they were ranked 32, so I'm, I'm assuming that throwing like 26 interceptions definitely didn't help out the defense. I mean, you can't blame the quarterback altogether, but this roster looks like it's pretty good, so... Maybe the Cleveland Browns defensive playbook just doesn't do good in Madden simulation. But that's going to be it for the video. If you like what you saw, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. Say something down in the comments. I have a playlist of all these offseason rebuilds going right now. So if you want, you can go back and watch all of them starting from the first pick with the Carolina Panthers. They're supposed to have the number one pick. So I started with them. And then every other pick is in order going forward. Appreciate y'all for watching. And I'll see y'all in the next one.